previously on the channel. If you want us to make a T6 version of the balloon spotter, hit that like button. If this video gets over 15,000 likes, we'll make a T6 balloon spawner just for all of you beautiful individuals. Friends, I asked you for 15,000 likes in order to receive the Paragon Balloon Spawner. A tower of such sheer power, the name of it alone would make the balloons tremble in their uh, boots. Uh, what is, what is, what do boot, in their balloon rubbery ball? Anyways, today is that day where we have achieved the Paragon Balloon Spawner. And today is the day we bring the fight to the balloons themselves, where we no longer cower in fear, where we no longer idly stand by and watch as the balloons do as they please, destroying our monkey cities and making our lives not as good as they could be. We could be eating bananas on a beach or something, but no, we must go to war to fight these pesky balloon invaders. Today we fight! Today we become champions! Today we become paragons! Yeah! Today is the day that we are using the balloon spawner to create the T6 which was promised and delivered. Thank you so much for hitting over 15,000 likes on the channel. Let's make a balloon spawner. So if we go to the upgrades, here it is, the Elite Boss Rush for $324,000. So when the balloons attempted Elite Boss Mode with balloon knowledge, in order to get the Paragon, we need to get all five or all three T5 towers, which is going to be relatively expensive, right? Let's also get Sneaky Saboteurs. So I, maybe I get blue balloons because blue balloons could be pretty good and then we can start going like the top path which is pretty strong we can pop pretty much every single type of balloon now that we have the sneaky the sneaky saboteurs they pop camo balloons as well so we can focus on making sure that we get ourselves some banana farms i'm gonna i'll i'm gonna let you in on a little secret everyone so i have not seen the paragon tower all right i i have not seen what it does. I'm really excited. If anyone's ever done anything with mods, I'm like any any modded thing at all, Minecraft, uh, any mod, any mod on any game, you'll understand that there's a little bit of finessing that goes into it, right? Like it sometimes it doesn't work. So I always try to go in and test things to make sure they work. I don't want to spoil myself. I just want to make sure it works. So that way when we film the video, it goes through smoothly because I have filmed at least like 20, 30 or 40 videos that I just got to the end and then for some reason like, one of the mods didn't work and then I was like oh no but so I was in sandbox mode and it just wasn't working like I couldn't get it to spawn I go why is it not spawning and then I realized oh you can't spawn paragons in the sandbox dummy also I don't have a uh, cross path on and that makes me really sad do I want to go the bottom path bottom path is pretty good fortified thieves so lead balloons steal fortified properties things are getting by I want fastest balloons and then I want faster creations we're gonna need to get all T5s anyways, just in order to get the Paragon, just because that's how it works. I think I just go and get more balloon spawners, right? So I do that, and then let's just get three balloon spawners, okay? So these are gonna be our three balloon spawners that we have placed down, and then we're, we're, th these banks, are, all bank money is going back into the banks, so we can get more and more banks. Like, that's definitely gonna be the rule. I think I definitely wanna get uh, the faster creation and rainbow rush before the Moab shows up because that's really the only way we're gonna deal with the Moab So I'm gonna get regrow on both of these just because when we get regrow like look at how many balloons there are now Oh my gosh, that's a lot of balloons. That's a lot of balloons. Can we deal with all of that? Yeah, we'll be able to deal with that Oh, there's a gold balloon. Wait, there's a gold balloon on this map. What the we popped the gold balloon The balloon spawner can pop the gold balloon. Oh, can we pop this one too? That'd be pretty cool if we could pop this one too. I want this one to be the, that middle path. And we popped it again. This thing can actually pop. This is actually making us some money. That's really, really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead, uh, let's see. I can upgrade this middle one. Ceramic Shelled is gonna be really strong. Moab Madness is really, really strong. I should not have gotten the Ceramic Shelled. I don't think that was a good idea. I think that was a bad idea, in fact. We're gonna save up money because I really wanna get faster creation. Maximizes balloon creation rate because I think that's what we need in order to be able to take out this Moab. Let's see how much money we have $2,000 in there. Yeah, we'll be okay. So there's faster creation and like that creates balloons really, really fast. I want the rainbow. Base attack does more damage and pop more balloons and the ability. Rainbow rush is 
crazy, especially for it only being $6,000. It essentially just wipes the screen of balloons. It's, I actually think this should be, this should cost like 10 grand. I think this needs a, a nerf just because of how powerful it is. Like $5,000 and you can deal with any problem you've ever had. I guess it does have a really, really long cooldown rate, which I didn't really think about. That might make, that might change, change it up a little bit, but we do have it right on time before around 40 because, huh, sheesh, if we had to deal with that, I actually think we might have lost, which would be kind of embarrassing. I love that you can put two banana farms right this in this one spot. See, look, use the rainbow rush. Wait, oh, the rainbow rush was actually nerfed. It, previously, when you use rainbow rush, it would send like a million of them. So never mind. The, look, I, I, actually, what's really crazy is the modder who saw this must have seen that it was overpowered and then went, wow, this is overpowered. I should probably make this not overpowered. That's actually really cool. Huge shout out to Dad Jane Doe for changing that. Look at how beautiful these banks are. They're perfectly stacked right here. Bad gas is a really nice upgrade to get actually because it like sets balloons on fire and it also explodes. Oh, can we deal with this Moab? Yeah, we should be able to deal with that Moab. We definitely were able to deal with that Moab. $37,000 for the next upgrade. Oh my gosh. Wait, these are all our Moabs. I was getting a little bit scared for a second. I was like, oh my gosh, how are we supposed to deal with all these Moabs? Oh wait, these are Mo these Moabs are on our side. All right, bad gas, which is gonna be really nice because that's just a super strong upgrade. Okay, so that's, uh, let's get the ceramic shelled. Okay, $37,000 is the next upgrade. We could probably get it now. Yeah, so that's gonna be our little monkey farmer right there. All right, perfect. And now we can start making some big dollars. So that's $70,000, right? So banana research facility, banana research facility, and then bada bing, banana research facility. So now we have three banana research facilities and they are gonna be making us some money a lot faster because again, we need, okay. So we need $86,000 plus $54,000 plus $37,000 plus $162,000 plus $324,000. Okay, I, I don't know if you guys can do math, but basically that's a lot of money. Oh, round 60. Oh, look at that. Yeah, see, the fact that we light these guys on fire, like 23,000 pops, 20,000 pops, that's still 28,000 pops, but they have a pretty equal amount of pops, which I think is really cool. Seeing how, like, evenly, um, how even, oh, the balloons are starting to get by. I really hope I get this rainbow rush up soon enough. There we go. Let's get another banana research facility. All the money I'm going to be getting gets put back into that. If I get enough money soon, though, I definitely would love to get the big floaty boy upgrade, which costs $37,000. Oh, no. Ceramic rush. Are we going to be able to deal with this? We're going to be able Round 63 didn't stand a chance. No, not another golden balloon. I don't think we're going to be able to deal with this th this time. The golden balloon is way too powerful. I'm going to collect all those. Okay. $120,000. All right. Banana central. Boom. All right, now we got Banana Central, which is going to boost all of our banana farms that are Banana Research Facility. It doesn't boost banks, which is a little sad. $30,000. I'm saving up money because I want to get the Big Floaty Boy, BFB. Big Floaty Boy. There we go. All right, we got the BFB. <laughs> yeah, I love the description. B B Spawns Balloon Arius is. There's nothing else to say about this one. Uh, enemy balloons shouldn't survive. Like, that cracks me up. I have my, it's my official, uh, it's the official 2 d There's a T on it. You see that? It stands for Tootie. It does, I promise. All right, let's see. Well, we can get the test balloon. So there's, all right, we got the first T5. We need to get the next T5, which is uh, the balloon, Noob's Nightmare, $86,000. That's expensive. Holy cow, that's really expensive. Yeah, the big floaty boy just pushes everyone back. Yeah, look, the big, oh wait, this has the most pops now with the, the test balloon. The upgrade cost 324, so. We're actually getting, we're getting relatively close. And Noob's Nightmare. Okay, so we can now send, do the DDT rush right before round 80 because I do, I actually don't think we're going to need it for round 80 because having the balloon area, uh, the, the big floaty boy here pushing back all the, the balloons is really nice. Oh, golden balloon. All right, do the DDT rush on the golden balloon. Come on, pop the golden balloon. No, the golden balloon got by. It's too powerful. I am so excited for this balloon. If you are excited too, my friends, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications because we're getting the first ever modded Paragon Tower. Yes, that is so hype. Yeah, the big floaty boy definitely is so strong. Okay, here we go, round 80. Wait, what? That instantly pop. Wait, what happened to the ZOMG? Wait, 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 did it push the ZOMG like out of the map? Because the ZOMG didn't pop.
Hey, look at that. We also got six dollars. Let's see. Well, there's the nine thousand. So that's. I mean, that works for us. And now balloon areas. There it is. There it is, my friends. The elite boss rush. Three hundred twenty-four thousand dollars. I actually think we have enough money to get it now, right? I don't want to. I'm not gonna go into it. Look at that. It just sends a balloon areas at him, bro. What are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? You just lose. Hundred thousand dollars is two hundred thousand dollars. We definitely have enough money. We definitely have enough money. I am confident that my math was right. Yeah, we have plenty of money. Look at that. Okay. My friends, thank you so much for watching up until this point. This is the point we've all been waiting for. Thank you so much for the 15,000 likes and all the support you've given on the channel in the past few weeks and forever. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. You're amazing. And without further ado, let's get the elite boss rush. And three... Two, one, boom! This action will create a Paragon Balloon Spawner. All other Balloon Spawner, Balloon Spawners will be destroyed in the process, feeding the Paragon's power. Oh, do we want to get a higher tier Paragon? No, for now, we'll just get the, the base level Paragon. A level two Paragon Balloon Spawner. That looks so gnarly! Oh my, it just spawns an elite Balloon Spawner. It, a Balloon Arius, it spawns an elite Balloon Arius. Holy cow. I love this. And it's a Paragon degree level two. Imagine if we could like, oh my gosh. No chance anything. Ever. Nothing can get past that. Look at how much money we're getting. It's just, it literally just destroys every balloon. Look at that. It just, no balloon. Can it even, balloons aren't even, round 86. It's still popping. And it just spawns again, round 87. That is so, that's so OP. We literally, we literally just win. All right, everyone, we're gonna leave, we're gonna let this sit for a little bit and just see how far this gets us. We lost? What do you mean we lost? How did we lose? Oh, I bet we lost a camo. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Can this tower? No, no shot. This, I guess that's true. It can't hit camo balloons. What? All right, here. Well, okay. Let's give it a village. Let's give it. Let's give this guy a little bit of a village. There we go. Radar scanner. All right, there we go. All right. It can't hit camos. So here's the problem that we run into. It can't hit camo balloons, and since it's a paragon tower, you can't give it any buffs whatsoever. So it just can't hit camo balloons ever. Like it just it just doesn't hit camo balloons. That's so sad. Oh, that's so tragic. I guess the strongest tower ever created just has one minor flaw, everyone. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Thank you so much for being who you are. And I thank you so much for having such an amazing community. I'm so proud and excited to have all of you here. Whenever I go in the comment sections, everyone's so positive. And of course, you know what I'm about to say. I'll see you tomorrow for some more awesome content.